Hey, I uh, just wanted to make a quick video here. Uh, this is a puller I made to pull the cylinder liners out of a C15. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, the, the puller, to buy one from Cat, they're like a thousand bucks, and an OTC one's like 1200, so uh, I don't wanna spend that kind of money. Anyway, it's really simple and just threaded rod, 7 8 threaded rod, and uh, some metal, <laughs> and welded on these stands, put a little feet on, and basically, you drop this rod down the cylinder, and then go underneath, and you gotta obviously turn the crank so you can get it at a right rotation and get this guy up in there, and uh, I just notched out um, these little lips so it grabs on the cylinder and then as you crank on that nut it'll pull it out anyway um, simple oh I didn't use any fancy machining stuff it's just a grind I just used a cutting wheel and a grinding wheel to make this piece and obviously drill the hole in it um, so you put that underneath screw this nut on and screw this guy. I'll actually, I still have two liners to pull, so I'll actually just set it all up so you can see what it looks like, but yeah. All right, so we got it all set up. Um, you can see down in there. Uh, let me see if I can get a light there for you. Yeah, see those little oil jet things? Um, be careful not to break those off. So you just gotta spin that. I usually spin it in from the top side So it doesn't hit um, But yeah, that's all you gotta do. Let me see if I can do this while filming but, uh, You get your wrench It's kind of hard to do while filming just a second. Okay, sorry about the shaky camera. All right, and then you just turn it around. You can see it's pulling it right out so smooth. Okay, yeah, I just was turning it, it took a little bit, but, and it's just about out, now it's loose enough, and then you can just grab the whole thing, this is what I do, like to do, just grab the whole thing. There it is. Right. Let's take this guy off. Ta -da. And that's about it. Anyway, so it's pretty simple to make and it probably costed me, you know, $100 or more or slightly over, but not much. Sure beats a uh, thousand bucks, you know. Uh, anyway, I still would throw it on there if it's of any help. Um, probably better than renting a tool, you know. So, you could probably do it. I used a pretty heavy thread. You can probably use a thin, uh, not such a, you know, it's seven eighths. Especially if you're working on a smaller engine, I wouldn't suggest using such a thick rod. Um, but, 
yeah, it would work fine. This you could probably even pull these out with a thinner one. But anyway, all right, that's about it. Thanks for watching.